Welcome to Wild About. On today's episode, we're rolling out for party time. It's the Zoo Do here at Bannham, the annual fundraiser for the zoo. Now, historically, showing up for a party on your own is not the coolest thing in the world. So joining me is my partner in crime for the evening, Miss Rachel Stringer. That's right, it's party time here, and I'm hoping there's going to be loads of dancing and maybe a bit of karaoke as well. Maybe. We might even see an animal or two as well. Let's hope so. We'll off to see what's going on, so follow us. The annual Zoodoo here at Bannham attracts thousands of people every year and with loads of activities like sculpting, painting, crockery smashing and even the chance to be a vet with a blow dart challenge, Rachel thought it would be a good idea to invoke a little friendly competition. So we thought we'd have a friendly challenge night between me and Tom and I'm going to challenge Tom first to hold a hissing Madagascar cockroach. Up for the challenge Tom? <laughs> I don't think so, but okay, we'll give it a go. We'll try it. Oh, that's horrible. That <laughs> Your turn. Do you actually want me to do it? You've got to do it, yeah, you've got to do it. Oh my god, it's really hissing at you. Oh no, I don't do it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, How long not, are we going to hot cow? He's coming in my arms. <laughs> All funds raised at the Zoo Do either go back into animal care, are donated into international conservation projects, or are invested back into the zoo to improve the customer experience. So the continued support of this event and others like it really can help contribute to a number of factors around the zoo, not to mention the rest of the world. The next challenge for Tom this evening, I'm going to get him to identify some Bannam Zoo poo. I have a feeling it's not just going to be regular poo, it's going to be some of the most foul-smelling poo on the face of the planet, right? I should think so, okay. yeah. Okay, all right, <laughs> there we, we go. Here we go, number one. Ooh, lovely. <laughs> oh, man. Man alive. It looks a bit like cow pat. It, it does look a little bit like a cow pat. I'm going to go with a wolf. I'm going to go with a zebra. No, that one is in fact from an emu. An oh, emu, really? An emu, yes. So we've got poo number two now. <laughs> number two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, that's nice. Um, uh, do you know what? I have an inkling, right? I'm going to go with giraffe. Close, not quite. Uh, Any other guesses? Um, do you have horses here? <laughs> You're getting closer on horse. Zebra? Yep. Oh. Okay, poo number three. I wonder if Rachel will guess zebra again. Right, are you ready? I'm afraid this is probably the worst. Smelling? Don't try. <laughs> I'm going to say monkey. Having, having walked around the zoo before <laughs> and smelt that smell, I know that that is a maimed wolf. No. No? No, that oh. is in fact a Sri Lankan leopard. Oh, that is oh. dire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is absolutely <laughs> dire. Well, Rach, you thrashed me in the poo challenge. I'm not exactly gutted. Guessing animals poo, probably not the greatest claim to fame in the world. I know my zebras, that's what I'm going to say. Well, everybody should be good at something. Well, we have had a great time here at the Zoo Do at Bannam Zoo. And if you want any more information on Bannam Zoo, then just log on to the website. We'll see you next time on, on Wild, Wild About. About.